you could be leaving some serious tones on the table if you are not experimenting with stereo rigs on your HX stomp. You are here with Budge on pedal boards of doom and after years worth of experience with guitar modelers, I have learned a few tricks that I want to share with you. We are looking today at getting some of the fattest and widest tones that the HX Stomp can achieve. So stick around with me in this video where I show you some of the tips and tricks that will help you achieve better guitar tone. So today we're going to be looking at a big sounding stereo clean patch and a dirty patch. Let's first start off with our clean tone. Sounds really horrible and dry. Let's kick in some reverb because if it is a clean patch, we cannot do it alone. We need some space to go on. This reverb is courtesy of the Legacy Spring 63. I am to believe that all of the Legacy ones are stereo patches as well. So it should hopefully keep that stereo fidelity as we start adding things into this. First of all, we are going to be pairing up a open 1x12 cream back with a US double. So a twin, a uh, Fender twin sound with a cream back. It sounds a bit like this. really quite nice and solid sound it's very bright sounding so we need to pair it up with something a little bit fuller and a little bit thicker so we need something to complement it but also to kind of bring it some frequencies that the twin does not have um, so let's have a listen to what I decided to pair with this which is the Elmsley by line 6 so so this one's a little bit AC 30 sounding we've paired it up of course with the blue speaker um, which should add a little bit of chime but the the Elmsley's quite mid rich and thick sounding already let's have a listen to what that sounds like on its own Beautiful. So that on its own sounds pretty nice. The twin on its own sounds pretty nice. What we've also done is made sure that on the mixer we've panned both to left and right so that you get a real big stereo spread. Of course you can do this a little bit less extreme if you want something a little bit more narrow. For this I wanted to get the real big stereo sound and wanted to highlight how big these stereo sounds can sound on the HX stomp. So we're panning it hard left and hard right. Let's hear what they sound like together. So with the hard panning and the contrasting sending amplifiers, you are getting a really, really big sound. The reverb also helps really thicken things up. As we are running amp blocks with this rather than preamp blocks, we are starting to run out of DSP. Fortunately, it still allows us to add this optical trim, which if you add this in, gives a really nice movement to the sound and adds to that really big sounding stereo width.
that is an absolutely beautiful sound but let's now check out the drive patch that i've sorted for us once again we are starting with a really dry guitar signal let's hear that just for some reference beautiful let's add a reverb this time nothing quite as extreme we're going for the plate reverb just to add a little bit of space kind of 80s kind of a little bit studio -y. we are aiming for a nice kind of bass crunch tone with this one we're starting off with the preamp models rather than the amp models because they use a lot less dsp so first of all we're going to listen to the brit plexi jump so the two channels of a plexi kind of blended together and of course we're going to mix that with a green back cab a 412 green back cab let's hear what that sounds like on its own So that one is still quite a clean tone, quite bright, um, a little bit crunchy. It sounds sounds okay on its own. So if we pair that with the cartographer that's from a couple of updates back, a little bit more gainy, a little bit more kind of mid-push, mid-rich, and we're pairing that with a V30 cab over here, which is something that pairs really well with greenbacks. Greenbacks and V30s pair incredibly well. Let's hear what this one sounds like on its own first. Let's pair these up together and let's see how big we can make this sound once again we're using the mixer to spread the stereo width on this one so we get a really really big sound let's have a listen So we don't have massive amounts of gain here, but we do have a really solid, really frequency rich crunch tone. Because we used the preamps earlier, it gives us a bit more DSP to play with, which is fantastic. Because we've got this extra DSP, we're going to be pushing these two with the pillars, which is slightly tube screamer voiced, but a little bit more open sounding. Let's hear what that sounds like. So we're starting to push that tone beyond crunch and into kind of a cooking amp territory. As we've got the luxury of DSP with this one, I also wanted to try something that is a little bit more neutral. So a Timmy based pedal is great for that. Let's hear what that sounds like pushing the amps do. However, it is now starting to get a little bit noisy. The Timmy model on this one adds a little bit of background noise. It also doesn't help that I've got loads of computer equipment around me and single coils. So we're going to add in a noise gate and then we're going to also stack the two drives together so that we can get massive, massive gain. This is now starting to push into kind of 80s rock and metal territory. Let's hear what this one sounds like. The 
HX Stump might just be the biggest contender in the compact modeling unit space. However, the IK Multimedia is hot on its tail. The video that's showing on screen now outlines the newest update for the IK Multimedia Tone X and why it is cropping up on everyone's radar. Thank you for watching and I will see you again on the next video.